Hello. Welcome, Nan. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Henry. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the Larger Than Life exhibition at Gallery and More. This is Kyoko. Hello. Welcome. So, Charles, are you gonna explain your paintings? I'm well, very it, excited to hear. Yes, I can. If you have any questions, you feel free to ask them. Yes, thank you. So, first one, this uh, very beautiful, vivid color. How did you um, paint this one? How well, this painting, it? like yeah. I, as I start all of my paintings, I start all of my paintings is like abstract expressionism. I just start putting lines and color or whatever I feel like putting on without thinking. Because I really don't like to think about what like, I'm painting. I like okay. to I just like the the image just to just come just come about so I never know what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. So you didn't really plan to paint this particular shape and No. It no. just it, 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 it's just what I see after I do all of my uh, scribbling, as I call it, I just that that that's the best way to describe it. Is I just scribble, mm -hmm. and um, but with paint, mm -hmm. uh, and I just study it. I study it from all all positions. Okay. I just keep turning it around and turning yeah, it around, yeah. keep adding lines, add color, whatever, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I see it, and then I start to, and then then I start to actually uh, develop the composition. As, as you can see on the video right. uh, of the painting, that's right, on, on right, Facebook. Yeah. I saw you um, put in the, the paintings in a different angles and then going back Back, and forth. looking at it, yeah. yeah. And, and that's, that's how I've been painting for the, since 1993. Okay. In that style. So it's really the time between you and your painting facing each other, looking at each other. Yeah. And then somehow you get the, the, the picture in the painting. That's, that, that's when I connect with it, okay. is from the studying of it. Okay. Uh, the painting, the actual painting of the paint, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the work doesn't take, doesn't take me very long. Mm -hmm. Most of my time is actually looking at what I've, I've put down. Okay. Because I don't, I don't use models. I see. You know, so it's just things that I, that just, they just come about. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, you know, at that opening ceremony, I got uh, some questions from people. And one of the questions was, how did you meet all these girls? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people ask me that question. How did you meet all these women? I, I just, you know, you know, like I don't like to joke around with them. And I was, you know, I'm a girl magnet. It was something like that. <laughs> it, just, it just has some fun. But I don't use models. Okay. And these are images women that I just create mm -hmm. and some but but some of the women they they, they will they'll have characteristics yeah. of maybe women that I have met right in your and, life in, in, in my life that they remind me of, of somebody it could be right. it could be their eyes it could be their hands the shape of their body or just maybe a, a, a position that 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 they're in I so th there is some Mm -hmm. There's a reference to uh, people in the past. I see. And I've, and I've even created, I've even done some paintings, I, I've, I've, I've finished paintings, and then if, after a while, mm -hmm. I actually meet the person. That I'll meet a person that looks like the painting. Uh -huh. So other way around, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow, there's probably there's somebody wonderful. out there that looks like these people. So that you, you get inspired by some women that you be you have met in your life. Yeah, I think that's why that's why I paint the the female so much. I think women really mm. inspire me that way. And I've always I, I've always looked at it that way. Anytime I looked at the the, the great artists, yeah. especially the the modern artists from the the late nineteenth and early twentieth century, mm. that the, it was the women. Mm -hmm. That I was always attracted to the paintings that mm -hmm. that um, that you know anywhere from Picasso, Matisse, mm -hmm. you name it, Modigliani, all the all those artists that when they were paint, painting, it was mostly women. At least that's what it seemed to me. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so, and I, I just follow in the same vein of that. Yeah. I mean, I noticed that uh, you paint different kinds of women from different worlds. Like, for example, this one called the Persian. Yeah. So it's a Pers um, Persian woman. Well, the way that I came about this one, the Persian red, mm -hmm. is that I did this right after I had purchased, um, mm -hmm. I had just purchased a couple of uh, Persian carpets. Mm -hmm. From, oh, and, and I love the, the red, that is, and there's different reds in, in, in the carpets, yeah. but I just think because that's what our, because I wanted to do a, a, a red painting, mm -hmm. and it was right after I had purchased, I, I think it was three. So you three get three. inspired by the Persian carpets? By, by the carpet, I lo uh, absolutely love Persian and carpets. And you use that inspiration, inspiration. to yeah. paint women yeah. out of the carpet, that's very cool. And that one is uh, called a China Girl. China Girl. Yes. Yeah. It's also from different country, different culture. A di different culture. Yeah. And China Girl, that was that was created. Uh, the first thing that that caught my eye, and it was the was was the face. Yeah. The face was created without me thinking or anything, mm -hmm. and from that I did the rest of it, and it was where I was staying. Mm -hmm. It was called the House of Win Win. In Yudibor, Trede Long Galton. Okay. And um, and there's a lot of things that there were a lot of objects that were in this big space where I live. Mm -hmm. They had all these types of like sofas there, and they had this red ceiling fan in the plant. And in the background, went through the window, there's the building that was across the street. It used to be the police station. Mm -hmm. And so I put that in there instead okay. of just making it like color I actually put the detail of the doors and, and windows of the police station mm -hmm. and that's you know just kind of move on then we have black hat black woman right. I just felt like doing a, a black figure mm -hmm. I was always very successful in um, for some reason people like buying the black the black image yeah I love that picture it's, 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 it's very striking yeah. and I love cats I yes. absolutely, I absolutely love, love cats. Yeah, I don't I have cats myself. Yeah. I used to, but my friends have cats. Mm -hmm. That's how I got the name Sushi. That's the name of one of their cats. Okay. And I love that cat. And she's so cool. <laughs> um, so I just kind of keep going, you know. Mm -hmm. I go from one to, to the other, yeah. you know, painting and whatsoever, mm -hmm. whatever I see in, in those, uh, in, in the beginnings. Right. Uh, and I created it. Hopefully it turns out good. Yeah. And if it doesn't, I, I, I paint over it. Oh, yeah. It's real easy. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Mm. Like any painting here, there's yeah. always a possibility that, that I can paint over it mm. if I get tired of it. There's some paintings that I'll never touch. Mm. You know, because because after I do this, you know, that's, mm. that's a keeper forever. Yeah. I mean, I really love you paint lots of women. Especially different, okay. different kinds of women, short hair, long hair, different types of shape. There's no fixed no. beauty. No, because everything it, is because, very because I think because I think every, it, uh, that that's a good point. I think that from different country, different backgrounds. That's absolutely different right. shapes and yeah. So we just place. I just decide if I, if I think that, it, that that I can make a, a woman look. A very sensual and beautiful, mm. confident. Because right. I, I like I like strong and confident with women. Mm. As this painting over here, this nude, yeah. it's called confidence. That's that that's her name. I just yeah. I absolutely love that painting. Yeah. And you know, a lot of times people they you know they, they, when they see n nudity, a lot of times they're you know they they can be a little offended by it. But I don't understand why. Mm. I, I just don't get it. Mm. This you know. I don't, it's their upbringing or something like that. I'm, I was brought up Roman Catholic, and you know, mm -hmm. I don't think that way. I just think the the, the figure, the human body, is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you know, if I don't have to put clothes on it, I don't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes I look at them. Mm -hmm. I've had them for maybe a couple of years, mm -hmm. and I decide to dress them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've done that with paintings. You know, I've kept them nude, and then all of a sudden, one day, yeah. it's time to put a dress on you. Mm. I mean, women's bodies are very, very beautiful and attractive. Absolutely, it's the most beautiful, it's the most beautiful thing. Yeah. I mean, 
my God, when I see people, you know, when they object to it, I, I just think they're, I don't know, I think they've been um, too much propaganda with the politically correct stuff. Uh, that's, that's just my personal feeling. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming into this room, yeah. and we have a, a number of, of paintings, but here, right. I haven't done drawings. I haven't done any drawings mm -hmm. since, since the late, the late 70s. Yeah. It's the last time I did drawings. Mm -hmm. And I did these drawings. Mm -hmm. These are drawings on linen. Mm -hmm. And they were going to be paintings, but after I did the first one, mm -hmm. I liked them so much, I said, why would I want to paint over them? Right. They turned out so much. And this was a model. Mm -hmm. This is Sarah Panitch. Okay. And, 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 and she came, she came to, uh, to my apartment and she, she actually sat, sat mm -hmm. there. Um, okay. So I did. This is, but this is the only one in this entire exhibit. And mm -hmm. it's the only person that I've actually had have, have, have sit for me. And uh, it was... Model. Model, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's uh, and that's really about the. That's probably like the. That looks like that's about it. That almost like wraps up the, the the entire. You know, you get an idea of the way that I progress. You come back here, and this, you know, because this, this is a, people see this. I've been really surprised about this mm -hmm. because every almost everybody that has seen this this painting here. Yeah. It's called The Road to Ochre. Mm -hmm. The original is, uh, is a watercolor, or mm -hmm. aquara. Yeah. Um, and they absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And it, this was in my first major painting series, and that was in 1981. Okay. Um, this is an archival pigment print. It looks exactly mm -hmm. like it. The, the process they use today mm -hmm. in printing the in these and paintings to get them, I mean, they are, they are absolutely right on the money mm -hmm. when they uh, reproduce these. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it, it really, it, it's a great process if you want to have something printed. Right. I mean, are, are they um, booked already, this painting? This one here, yes, yeah, so this here, this here is, oh. uh, it's bought, yes. So if I or someone wants them, are they still some copies? Uh, there, there's one cop there. There's one print of this left, and yeah. any painting that you see here, yes. you could have it reproduced. Okay, great, great deal. It, it, it can be re reproduced and look exactly like the original painting. Mm. So it is. I mean, it would be done on paper. They can also do it on, on canvas or linen too. Okay, so uh, it, it depends. It depends on if the artist wants to to have that done. They, right. But, but so it can be done. flexible and very flexible. Yes, yeah, people done. can always talk about how they want to have with you. Ex exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's great. And much lesser cost than mm. the, than the uh, original painting. Right, and maybe size can be different. Also. Size can also be yeah. different to fit into to to your home. Oh, that's because great. these large paintings, like he's going, you need a you need a big wall and a large space to have them because you yeah. should see them. Really, seeing that this is how you should view, view this painting, mm. like that, uh, right. pink lace should right. be distance. Right, right. Because when you're on top of it, you re you really can't see it. Yeah, feel it looks it looks and it feels different when you see it from the very close and then a bit far away. Yeah, I yeah. like I, I would paint everything big, but then where where do I put them? Mm. You know, that's the, that's the difficulty of doing really large paintings. Right. This here is this here is about mm -hmm. this was the largest size I did. These are 90 by Indian summer. That's 90 by 120 centimeters, approximately three by four feet, and that's really that's really a, a, an excellent size. Mm -hmm. But then once you start getting bigger, then you really start needing larger, much larger spaces that are free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you need a a, a lot of wall space. Right. You know, I love this uh, painting, and I just remember you said you love cats. Yeah. And this woman yeah. is not exactly like human. It's yeah. kind of a combination of some animal and yeah. human. Is, that, is, she, is she like a cat? Well, she cat could be. Woman? I mean, I, as I said, I, I, I love cats. Mm. I, got, I have a painting in my apartment right now. Mm. It's called um, 
red, red wine. Okay. And, 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 and when I look at it, it really looks like it would be a cat. Okay. You know, but, but it's a woman laying on a sofa, mm. drinking. She's not nude, but she's, she has, she has, she's holding a glass of red wine. Mm. And she does, she really looks like a cat. I'm thinking about painting over it yeah. and turning it into just a really big cat. Okay, I yeah. love, I love her eyes. It's very sexy yeah. and, you know, telling me something. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I try a lot of times, uh, I, I try to get, uh, make those eyes that they try to, yeah. um, they, 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 they try to, I, I want them to seduce the viewer. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's like drawing them into it, so then if, if, if I can do that, mm -hmm. then what happens is then mm -hmm. possibly, the painting has a new home. Yeah. I believe that all these paintings have, have, have a home somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the person to, to walk in the door. Mm -hmm. And then I'll see you walk out the door one day. I see. You know, but in the meantime, I have to take care of myself. <laughs> you know, all my women. Right, you know. right. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for uh, talking about your paintings. You're very welcome, Kyoto. Yes. I need to observe now a little moment and yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have uh, other questions later on. Oh, you, you're welcome to ask them. Oh, thank you, know? you. And thank you, Henry, Thanks. for being the cameraman. Yes, and if you have any questions, uh, always welcome to ask us and uh, Charles is uh, gladly willingly to answer all the questions. See you guys. I'll see you.